As I'm sure you've noticed, there's dozens of videos on the internet about the mullet bike setup. And the world doesn't need another video on that. However, what I've noticed is all the videos seem to be the pro's take on the setup, not the average guy. And I'm certainly the average Joe, well, average Mike. Anyways, I began to get curious about it, what the mullet was all about. Does it really work? I don't see how it possibly could be a difference. But anyways, I started thinking about it, started thinking hard about it. My actual trail bike is perfectly capable for most of what I do. I mean, I'm 60 years old. I'm not going to be sending it off 15 foot drops or skying huge air. However, I do like to ride downhill tech trails quite a bit, stuff like Eastern Hemlock at Highland Mountain Bike Park. But I'm not going to go out and buy a bike dedicated just for downhill riding. It's just not in the financial cards. If I could make my trail bike just a little bit more versatile, that would be pretty cool. It occurred to me, what if I could make my trail bike with mullet set up? The bike I ride is a 27.5. I realize I'm the minority riding a 27.5. Nobody rides, everybody's riding 29er. However, hear me out on this. I live in New England where the trails are pretty tight and the steeps come up pretty quick. So with my 27.5, it just, it's snappier around the turns and it's a lot more torquier with more power in the uphill. I mean, my cassette, I'm only using 42 tooth and it's more than enough power with a 27.5 to get me uphill. So that's my bike. I had that light bulb moment when I realized the front wheel from my wife's 29er off her canyon fits perfectly into my trail bike. It's a perfect match. So therefore, I could run a test without the extra cost. It didn't, I could just go out and do it. It wasn't gonna cost me anything extra. And the big benefit is the bike is gonna be perfectly the same with the exception of the wheel. Whereas other tests I've seen on YouTube, they're running identical bikes. Now, I don't care how well you set them up, but they're never gonna be perfectly identical. In this situation, I've got the identical bike. So the test I decided to run was at this little place called Lincoln Woods. It's just north of Providence, it's not very big, but they've got some really pretty cool enduro type runs. So it was a perfect setup for what I was gonna do. I could park my truck right at the base of the run so that I can swap out wheels, hike up, do the runs, swap wheels, and so on. It was absolutely perfect spot to do this because I get the obviously I get the identical run each time. Okay, so the trail was pretty cool for what I was doing. It had a little bit of everything. Um, it had berms, had huge rock roll-ins, it had a couple of smaller drops, and it even had one spot that was just a super slick rut muddy rut with roots that was a pretty steep drop in or roll in I should say. What I discovered is initially there's no real distinct differences but then I realized when I was on the mullet setup with the 29er I was actually riding a lot more control and I had a lot more confidence in what I was doing. So when I went back to the 27.5 setup I almost felt like in the downhill situation I was kind of hanging on for dear life. I mean, I could handle it just fine, but it was just kind of a more out of control ride. The downside what I discovered was much later when I was just riding trails with the mullet is it took a lot more effort to pedal and it took a lot more effort to get up hills. So in that respect, um, it wasn't very good for trail riding, which is fine because I only wanted mullet set up for my downhill days when all I have to do is swap in the tire and uh, head off to the bike park. I went into this a total skeptic. I was like, how in the world could a two different wheel sizes that they're so slight in size, how could that possibly make a difference? It just, the results still make no sense to me because if when you look at the 27.5 and the 29er wheel, it's the difference is super slight. I mean, come on. Who can feel that besides maybe a pro rider? By being able to switch over to a mullet setup with the 29 inch front wheel, I've got a pretty nice downhill bike for the days I want to ride downhill parks um, with very little cost. And I have to admit, after this test, I'm so excited about it that I ordered a brand new rim and hub and built up a new 29er wheel. 
and the results have been great. The bottom line is, I think I'm sold on the mullet setup. Cut.